What's up everyone? I'm Taylor Michelle and it's time for the weekly rundown from home. So we saw some snow in Palm Springs this week. Say so what? I mean, even if it was what they're calling grapple, it counts, okay? I mean, did you see the snowman our meteorologist Jerry made? Yeah, that thing. Okay, maybe we can't say we really got snow, but in other parts of the country, that's not the case. Let's turn to Minnesota where a group of high school students took the time to build some snowmen, but they were actually much more special than just snowmen. The students built the sculptures outside the windows of a nursing home to help lift the spirits of residents inside. And rumor has it, the residents loved them. I mean, of course they did. Meanwhile, a program in Utah is helping create meaningful relationships for isolated seniors. It's known as the Friendly Callers program and volunteers call a homebound senior at least once a week or more if they want. Bonnie Lewis created the program after seeing so much loneliness among homebound seniors who were sometimes going weeks without talking to others. Nancy Shelley has been matched with volunteer Danelle Smith. Shelley suffers from dementia and had to give up driving, which means she sits at home more than ever before. She was my sanity. I knew I could count on a call every day and it always seemed to come when I needed it the most. And it was just nice to hear another human voice and especially for it to be Danelle because I trust her. As we all know, it's better for our physical and mental health to stay socially connected. Now the old saying always goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, in the case of this next story, that's uh, exactly the case. A man found a long lost treasure trove of family history that had simply been, well, thrown away. Andrew Adams and Jay Hancock take us back to this special find. Life can lead one down some meaningful roads. But few of those roads ever lead directly to the dump. In the process of doing so, we found this box. Tanner Hill was just throwing stuff away when the box caught his eye. I wanted to know what, what it was about. And once he got it back to the house. Age 15, eighth grade, 1978. He couldn't believe what was inside. We found like birth certificates, social security card, driver's license, death certificates, marriage licenses, family photos. All seemed to center around one woman. Marple Anderson. A face that didn't look familiar in the tiny town. The other uh, longtime resident here in Huntington at the works at the store, she's never heard of their names before. So Hill. I wish I could talk. Went on his own hunt to find the family behind the photos. It'd definitely be good to kind of hear the stories of what, what they're about around the time that they were taken. After days of searching. Hey, is this DJ? Yeah, this is DJ. He discovered a relative online. Marvel, that's my, it's my dad's grandma. How the pictures and records wound up where they did remains a mystery. A lot of people turn their back on people or just throw stuff like that away. But what was lost has now been found. I'm just really grateful that there's good people out there still in this world. And that, oh yeah, is quite the journey, indeed. Eventually you'll get somewhere, and that's what we end up doing. Changing gears now, the pandemic and physically distancing has been incredibly challenging for young musicians learning to play in front of a live audience. But a music institute right here in California has made that a little easier through the help of, of course, technology. I don't typically like going straight on. Uh, there we go. Performing for a musician is like food. It's air. It's water. It's it's essential. You have to have it. And to take that away, it's it's devastating. I need you guys to be in places. Coronavirus became the way of life, the way that we're interacting now. Live music and music in general really got affected by this. And it seemed to me at, at that moment that we needed to come up with a plan and come up with a plan fast. So we picked up um, a whole bunch of iPhone 11 Pros, and which shoot fantastic, and this allows us to live stream right off the fly. That's where we decided that well, let's turn our theaters into virtual live streaming concert venues. We've done live shows before, but nothing like this. I'm really excited to see how it goes. What's up, everybody? We are live. I gotta go for a mile. The bands seem to attract larger audiences. 
So you go play a club that holds 250 people. Well, you hit that in the first five minutes of a live stream. There's a difference. It's interactive. You're part of the show. Just as much as the musician needs to be on stage performing for an audience, the audience needs to see a band. They need that release. It's just as important. It's a two-way street, and both needs are being met. The musician has now left the couch and is back standing up making music for thousands. It's great. Good night. Thank you, guys. I mean, it's so good that those kids still have an outlet to do something they love to do in these far from normal times. If you want to learn about them anymore, you can go to rockstarsoftomorrow.com. Now, bottoms up because American Airlines is getting into the wine delivery business. Yeah, let me say that again. American Airlines is getting into the wine delivery business. <laughs> yeah. The company rolled out a new program called American Airlines Flagship Sellers. The monthly subscription starts at $99 and you get three bottles of wine with that option. American Airlines is also offering single bottles, which range in price from about $13 to $40. Alcohol is banned in many cabins to help swerve the spread of COVID-19. So that means there's a lot of leftover booze that American Airlines is looking to cash in on. After you treat yourself to some wine, it's time to treat your furry friend. Already a hit with humans, Ben and Jerry's is betting canines will also crave their fun flavors. Their doggy desserts are non-dairy frozen treats available in two flavors named after the dogs of employees. Ponches Mix features peanut butter and swirls, and Rosie's Batch combines pumpkin and mini cookies. The ice cream-like canine concoctions have a sunflower butter base and other ingredients found in Ben & Jerry's traditional ice cream, including sugar, coconut oil, and wheat flour. I think my pup would like the peanut butter swirl. Where did you, Doug? Now, if you like chicken tendies, you're gonna love Tyson's new chicken hearts. Tyson calls them nuggets of love. They're only available through the Poultry Giants Chicken Nugget Bouquet Contest. Now, the contest in honor of Valentine's Day starts tomorrow and runs through the 17th. It works like this. Contestants make their best chicken nugget bouquet and share a photo on Instagram or Twitter. You have to tag at Tyson brand and use the hashtags Nugget Bouquet Contest and Tyson Nuggets of Love. The grand prize winner gets $5,000 for a staycation, plus a year's supply of Tyson Chicken Nuggets. Another 150 winners gets a bag of the limited edition Tyson Nuggets of Love. I mean, sounds like a great prize to me. Now keep yummy food, snacks, and drinks on your mind because after the break, I'm showing you how you can have the ultimate Super Bowl feast. Yeah, we all like the sound of that, don't we? It's all about the food that day. Stick around, I'll see you in two minutes. Welcome back to Weekly Rundown. So February is actually a pretty cool month and a local restaurant is making your game day food spread easy peasy plus giving you a way to really, really wow your Valentine. I took a trip to Tommy Bahama to get you the full scoop. sometimes. I'm joined by Brian. He's the general manager of Tommy Bahama Marlin Grill in downtown Palm Springs and we have something pretty darn cool going on. Yes we do. Thanks Taylor. Yeah of course. Thanks for joining me. So the big game is coming up. We all know what big game we're talking about and they are just making your day a little easier and the best part about the day the food. The food. So yeah. what are you guys doing? Well, like you said nothing ruins a party more than bad food. <laughs> so let us cover that for you. For $99 you get everything you see here with food. Um, we have our pork sliders here, all-American burger sliders, the mango habanero lollipop. What's the name of those, by the way? <laughs> lollipop. <laughs> Chicken and lollipop. 
Um, we have the duo of dips with the house-made guac and house-made fire rusty salsa. The hurricane tater tots, slaw here, and our Cajun encrusted macaroni and cheese. And to finish up for dessert, we have our miniature key lime tarts. I mean, this is definitely game day food. Oh yeah, this is gonna make the game, make you win on game day. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. And to up the game and make sure you win, oh, you yeah. can get some cocktails. Yeah, if you wanna kick your party up a notch, we got the party pack right over here, which comes with five 16 ounce options of all of our signature cocktails. You can pick all of all, all one, or you can mix and match. Can never oh. be to mix and match. A little customization on your cocktails. And if you want more, we have more cocktail options here. Um, we have our margarita uh, pack right here, along with our grapefruit basil martini pack. That's awesome. And uh, I mean, this is a great deal for that. Uh, if, and if that wasn't enough, we actually have more going on. Yeah, so we're going to take our cocktails on over to the next cool day in February. And that is Valentine's Day. We know it's a little different this year or a lot different, but it doesn't mean it can't be just as special. Tell us what's going on for Valentine's Day. So what we're doing to make Valentine's Day special this year is we are charging $125 and we're bringing Valentine's Day to you. Um, for that $125, you get two filet mignon steaks. We're gonna get two main lobster tails that are encrusted there. I mean, look at that. They're beautiful and they taste even better. <laughs> um, we also have our classic uh, Caesar salad, our grilled asparagus, cauliflower mash, and everybody knows about our oh, signature bread we here. love the bread. <laughs> <laughs> and to finish it off, we have our triple chocolate cake here. And we also have a special drink for Valentine's we Day. We've crafted a cocktail specifically for that special day for you and your yeah, significant spice it up, change it up a little, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And this couldn't get any more convenient. You're going to pick it up in a box that looks like this. This one is actually the game day kit, but kind of talk to us about this. Oh, well, in this game day kit, it's everything you saw on the table packed up. All you do is pick up, a simple reheating instruction, you pop it in there, heat it up, and serve to your guests. So if you have leftovers, they actually tell you right on here just how to reheat it, save it for the next day, take it to work, brag about how your team won, whatever you want. We've taken all the guests they had a game day. <laughs> Let's talk about how to order this. How can people order these? Um, you can call in um, to any of your locations here in Palm Springs, Palm Desert, or even our Newport location has the, all these options available, or you can do it online. And how early? So if I want to order for the big game, when do I need to have my order in by? So for the big game, you need to have your orders in by February 4th. Um, and then pickup is going to be the day before on Saturday from 11 to 3, all the way up to two hours before the big game. Awesome. And for Valentine's Day? And for Valentine's Day, you have to place that order by February 11th. Um, and your pickup is going to be the day before and the day of Valentine's awesome. Day. Awesome. Okay. And one thing I just want to hit on, because this is really is such a good deal, Tell us the pricing one more time. One more time uh, for the big game, we have a $99 pack um, that gives you all that food you see there. Um, and then for Valentine's Day, it's $125 for our food pack. Awesome, well sounds like a great deal, sounds like a lot of fun, and most importantly, it's so easy. It's easy. So yeah. easy. All right, well thank you so much for joining us today, Brian. Thanks, Taylor. As I mentioned there, all of that information is posted on NBCPalmSprings.com, so go check it out if you're interested. Now coming up, it seems this whole at-home thing is going to be sticking around for a while. And not because the pandemic is sticking around, but because it's opened up so many new ways to do things, well, at home and easier ways at that. After the break, I'm showing you something else that's gone at home. Stick around, the Weekly Rundown will be right back. Welcome back to Weekly Rundown. So it seems like just about everything is being done from home now. And DAP Health is adding something to that list. Joining me now is CJ Toby, Director of Community Health. Thanks for joining me, CJ. Thank you for having me. So what do we have going on now? So, you know, DAP Health is no different. We're, we're making sure we get all the services we possibly can to people at home during this pandemic, and HIV testing is no different. Right, so now what do you mean by that? What, what's new? So, in, in the past, people had to come on site or out of our mobile unit to get that HIV test. Well, now, because of this pandemic, you can request a self-HIV test either through the phone or also digitally. You, you will see our advertisements on the tent on a billboard, a bus stop, or maybe even Facebook, or also Grinder, Scrub, or Tinder. You submit that request, and then it arrives. Just like that. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> okay, so this is the box it comes in. Yes, so we, we send the self-HIV test through FedEx. So if you put in a request, you're going to get it within a week. Sometimes it's three to four days, and it comes into a confidential box. Very like discreet, this. very discreet. Very discreet. All right, so walk us through. You get this box, let's open it up and go through it. Let's do it. All right, so we open up this box, and it's going to come first with a whole bunch of wonderful educational material, right? So we have all of this right here. It's going to be step-by-step -step instructions on obviously how to use it and who to contact if you need any help whatsoever. And then a whole bunch of information about HIV and sexual health, STIs, hepatitis C, syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, wonderful education. Read through this before you take that test. Then we have the self-HIV test itself, which is Oroquick. Here it is, Oroquick self-test. Again, it is pharmaceutical step-by-step -step instructions. I know we all hate instructions, but this is probably <laughs> the first time some of us has taken a self-test. Instructions are good. And needed. Yes. <laughs> so what are we looking at? So what we're looking at here, it, it's again, it's going to be English and Spanish um, instructions on how you um, administer this test. So it goes through step-by-step -step instructions. It's really easy. I'm going to walk you through it. Yeah. Especially for visual learners. Yeah, that's me. Because people who can't hear like me, visual is so good. <laughs> so very compact. Everything is put together. Nice packaging. Mm -hmm. It is. It, it's, it's great packaging. Everything's right here. Um, this is for making sure there's, you know, because make sure there's no uh, saliva or anything that goes anywhere. This is a clean space to make sure we put this down here first. Uh, we want to look at this. This is going to be the actual test yourself that you're going to be using. And this is going to be the test tube that you would then just open. And this candy container actually comes with a little holder that you can place right here, as you can see. And then, this is gonna be the test stick. And you wanna make sure right here that you don't grab this white part because it's going to um, discontinue the test. So you wanna make sure you open up here on the top. It tells you exactly where to open it. You're gonna pull it out, and then you're gonna start at the top of your mouth, between your gums and your lips, and you're gonna make a C to the bottom. Here. Just like that. Very, very simple. And then you put the test kit into the tube. And then once you do that, you're going to then look at the time. So I have no idea what time it is. Let's say, oh, there's the time. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yep. So then what we do is we take out the pencil, we write down what the time is, and then it's going to be 20 minutes. And then in 20 minutes, you're going to look here at this test, and you're going to see either one line or two lines. One line means control, it works, and HIV negative. Two lines means you're preliminary positive. Do not panic. If you are HIV positive and it comes back, you test yourself at 2 o'clock in the morning because that's the only time you have alone by yourself with no family members, friends, or anything around. We have a staff member that has a phone. The number is in here. You call them at 2 o'clock in the morning and they will be there to support you. That is awesome. And so how long? I mean, is this something that's going to stick around? Is this something that's... Does it have an end date? Tell us a little bit more about the timing. Yeah, so this, this program launched with recovery centers over the summer and then we started offering it digitally really for the community in August. And this is really in response to the COVID pandemic, but it could be in tomorrow. And this program is still going to continue as long as we continue to have the funding to support these tests, because knowing your status is the key to ending the HIV epidemic. And for me, for example, people that work a lot, right, or people that are always around family or friends, we want safe, confidential ways to make sure that we know our status. And this is one of the best new ways to know your status. Yeah, of course. And like I said, I mean, this is just such discreet packaging. You can really feel that, like, confidentiality with it. One more time, if someone wanted to order this test, you said they can call or they can go digitally. So there's ads all over. If you see them, you can scan your phone to them. You can go to their website. And how quick does that test come? So the test comes within a week. Um, some people get it as soon as three to four days, but typically about a week after you put that request in, you receive it. Absolutely. Awesome, so it only takes a week to get it and it only takes 20 minutes to get the results. And it's free. <laughs> it's it is free. a free self-test. And you can do it anytime you want to at any time of the day. You don't have to come into a clinic that's only open eight to five. You can test at your own leisure. And uh, read the directions. That's right. <laughs> read, read the, the directions. directions. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. This is an awesome new rollout by DAP Health, and we'll be right back. Thank you.
Welcome to the Weekly Rundown. Gil Rutenberg, General Manager at Honda the Desert. This week we're at the Lady of Soledad in Coachella. Take a look at this family for this week's Essential Employee of the Week. We're here at Our Lady of Soledad Church in Coachella, and I have to say this is the hardest essential worker of the week because the recipient is the family of a man who lost his life from COVID just last week. I'm Thalia Hayden with NBC Palm Springs, and we're not sure, but we do a segment every week. It's called Essential Worker of the Week. And this week, it's going to you because of what Baltazar has done for this church, for the community, we are so sorry for your loss, but we're hoping that this $1,000 can help your family with any costs that could incur for funeral service or whatever you need them to go to. We just want you to know that you're loved and supported by the community. I'm so sorry for your loss, but hopefully this money can be put toward anything that you need. We, uh, we heard about your story and and we wanted to do whatever we could to help so um this week we actually wanted to go above and beyond and we actually have two thousand dollars for you guys so we have we have there's one there's one thousand and there's the other thousand yeah i mean we just heard the incredible stories and we're just so honored to be able to be here and help in any way possible uh, i think all of us here can say a lot about Baltasar from a, a very young man, as he saw the difficulties surrounding him, he became committed to doing something, anything that would make life better for everyone else. Welcome back. Wasn't that just special? I mean, we were just so fortunate to be able to step in and help out the family. And this one actually meant so much to us and being able to actually surprise them with an additional thousand was just huge and we hope that it actually goes a long way so again just so fortunate to be able to be part of it the weekly rundown will be right back That's all I have for today, but be sure to tune in next week because we are getting to know everybody's favorite Big Bear Bald Eagles, Jackie and Shadow. And before I go, I just wanted to remind you guys to feel free to send in stories to be featured on the show. I love to feature local good news, great people, interesting stories, anything fun, send it my way. You can also connect with me on Instagram at NBC Weekly. Have a great week, everyone.